Um, hello? <gasps> oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, didn't mean to ignore you. Just got caught up in my work again. So, what do you think? Nice, isn't she? Are, are you the Arlen Glass? The toy designer? I am. Where did you hear that? Did you have a daughter? Marmee. She died in the war. I wasn't the best father. Too old. Worked too much. In the end, I... I never even got to say goodbye. I think I have something that belongs to you. A uh, holotape? Let's see now. Go ahead. <sighs> Hi, Daddy. When are you coming home? Oh, God. No, you work too much. I want you to read to me again. Oh, Mommy says you're helping all the horses find good homes. Take care of them, okay? I... I love you. And... Oh, <laughs> Buttercup says she loves you, too. We miss you. Come home soon. Oh, Marlene. I, uh... I... Give me a minute. Hey there. It's been so long. I never thought I'd hear their voices again. You can't imagine what this means to me. It's a long story, but I lost my wife and son too. And maybe you can understand. She was right, you know. I did work too much. And now, I'll never hear her voice again, never get to hold her, kiss her goodnight. All I have left are the memories, and this tape as one father to another. Thank you. All these years, you never gave up, did you? You're still working too much. I suppose so. We made toys. We made children happy. That's all that mattered. And as long as I can still do that, I will. It's the least I can do for her. What happened to them? We had an apartment in Cambridge. I went to the office that morning to try to talk to Mark again. When when it all happened, I tried to get back, but the city was in chaos. By the time I got home, there was only a crater. I lay down in the ruins. I, I just wanted to die. Instead, I woke up like this. What now? I... I can't possibly repay you for this. Here, take. Take everything I have. It's not much, but... And one more thing. I was saving this for her birthday. All these years, it was all I had to remember her by. Please, I want you to have it. 